Hi, welcome to the second step-by-step -step how to cut a stencil. Today we're using a, a picture of a customer, of a dog. Uh, wenn Sie die deutsche Anleitung haben wollen, klicken Sie bitte auf die deutsche Flagge unten. So we take this customer's picture of the dog and we trying to make a stencil out of it. Um, you can work the same steps with a stencil burner or a cutter knife. I'm just using now the um, Wacom Cintiq 21 UX, which is a tablet pen display where you can put a picture in Photoshop and you can trace the single layers in the single layers. Yes. So, first, I'm going to do a positive and negative form of the outside shape of the dog. Now, you see I'm doing the stencils for the black. Therefore I trace everything that's black in this picture and do it in a single layer. Now I'm changing the contrast a little bit so I can see the single colors better. So as you can see on the left side this original photo there's a digital artwork that we're going to do now. And then there's the airbrush picture which comes at the end of the demonstration. And beneath that there is the airbrush stencil description which you get if you buy a stencil from me. You get a step-by-step -step description and also if you like I can do for every customer a video on YouTube from his design. So you can always see how to work. I'm using now the, the Wacom pen display and the program is the Adobe Photoshop Elements 2.0 which is a I find very good program and is also very cheap. In Germany you can get this at Amazon or eBay for 15 euro which is twenty dollars I think. So everything that the big program CS3 or 4 has is there and uh, you can use it for a real good price. So as you see now we are t tracing the black. Um, if you're Doing a normal dog, you can do this in two stencil steps. So the, the huge part of black there in the first stencil, you can divide in two stencils so you have more more choices to change the color. If you got a dog with the same shape, You can uh, make him dark or lighter if you divide this in two stencils. From so the first, it's like a comic picture, just the outline and the nose and the eyes and some of these shapes. So now I use the to mark everything reverse it and fill it with color so this would be the first black and now I'm doing the gray or the darker darker gray in this picture for our second stencil. As I said before you don't have to use this this pen display or laser plotter like I do. You can do everything with a stencil burner which I used for over 15 years. And here you have seen uh, the razor function of the pen. No, you don't have to use this highly advanced equipment. I've done all this work with a stencil burner before and works as good as a laser plotter. But with the plotter and this program you have the ability to do the same stencil in different sizes. So the only thing is the connections between the stencils 
sometimes you have to make a little bit bigger if you reduce the size of the stencil because then the size of the connection will also be reduced and sometimes it falls out after the cutting. So, um, as you've seen maybe before the, the demonstration on the shark, it was quite an easy, easy one with uh, about 200 vector points. This dog has now, after I finished, about 2000 vector points, which means that there are 2000 details in this work. And um, the advantage is to use a stencil that you get in a short amount of time highly detailed pictures. So now you see now I finished the second and the first layer. We got the the first thing I've done was the the outline of the picture, which gives the color of the dog. Now I'm doing the pure white thing, which means it's the nose and the ear uh, and, and uh, the eyes, which are a separate stencil. And then there's a final stencil, which with the white highlights which is now so for this you take everything uh, which is white or light gray and put it in the final stencil if you get something like a more colorful picture like a parrot or something like this you have to do some additional stencil for each color that there is in the picture. And uh, so every stencil I make is designed for that you can use it in five to ten minutes with the right equipment. So I myself have, have uh, 13 airbrushes. In my use there are black, white, gold, silver, dark blue, light blue, a violet and magenta, a red, a yellow, a green and a brown. And uh, something with glitter pigment for the girlish things. So I'm able to finish most of my pictures in a really short amount of time. So afterwards if the picture of the dog would take about five minutes to paint. Uh, what I didn't show here after I finished the white stencil is um, that I use coral draw trace and afterwards coral draw to do the final vector work. But it's it's nothing to show there. It's just a transformation from a normal picture into a vector standard. So as I said, this this dog has now about two thousand vector points. Uh, some of my pictures are up to five or seven thousand vector points which are really highly detailed pictures but it um, there's no additional working time there just have to use the stencil and fill it with the right color and um, if you if you get 200 vector points or 9000 actually it's the same working time with the airbrush so here's the finish the digital artwork so this would be the first stencil it's just the outline positive negative this is black this is gray so this is the color of the dog with the outline this is a pure white for eyes and nose and this is the white Now we get into the final airbrush.
art. So I put the white on it. Now I use two background stencils, which is one at the forest design. Where I use the, the original background color and just put white on it. The second is a grass design. Now we're back to the dock. We're using now a opaque black. First was the opaque white. So everything there is filled with black. Now we're using the same black but we don't do 100% of, of So in this tab if you want the dog darker you can add more black. Now I'm using uh, a dark blue. And freehand a little bit blue and black for the rest of the dog. Now comes uh, the first stencil, and as you see here, this is a, a tip. You can cut the important parts into this stencil. So, if this fits, the detail in the eye and the nose won't get out, and uh, if you have them in. A position you don't want because the outline always is it's always the same in, in the picture you can use it to to make some stencil even if it's it's dirty and you can't see through it it always fits perfectly so what's missing now is the white final white so you can see, I don't use 100% of the white. It's just a. Let's put a light white on it. And always try to work with the light white, and then you can see where you have to add some white or. So I'm using um, the colors from House of Color, which are dry immediately. The uh, white and black are opaque and the rest of the colors are transparent. So actually you can mix the colors on the surface of your painting. Yeah, and then there's a forest again. For these spots I have also a how-to-do video, find these stars, and we are quite finished. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.